Hi, I'm Mike from Van Doren, and in this video, we're going to be discussing some of the most popular Van Doren clarinet mouthpiece choices. I'm going to break them down by scenario so that hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a really good choice of which mouthpiece might work best for you, no matter where you're at in your musical development. Before we get started, I should mention that all Van Doren mouthpieces are designed as professional mouthpieces, and most are available in three different models Traditional Beak, Profile 88, and 13 series. Traditional beak is typically the most popular. Profile 88 uses a slightly differently angled beak, which many people find more comfortable. And 13 series mouthpieces use the Profile 88 beak, but are pitched slightly lower at A440. We'll go ahead and start with mouthpieces that work really well for beginners and intermediate players. The first model that I'd like to mention is the 5RV Lyre. What students need more than anything else is a mouthpiece that lets them get a good, full sound with easy response right from day one. And that's exactly what the 5RV Lyre does. The design of this mouthpiece makes it easy for students to produce a full, colorful sound with immediate response right away. Here's a quick excerpt played by our Van Doren marketing assistant, Rebecca Scholdorf, to give you an idea of what this mouthpiece sounds like. Once again, this has been the 5RV Liar. If you're looking for a mouthpiece that gives you an immediate response and colorful sound right from day one, the 5RV Liar is the place to start. The next mouthpiece I'd like to mention is the M13 Liar. M13 Liars are a very closed clarinet mouthpiece known for their compact, smooth, warm sound with immediate response. While many beginners start on this mouthpiece, a lot of professionals play the M13 Lyre as well, making this a mouthpiece that you can start on and stay on for your entire clarinet career. Another thing that players and teachers like about the M13 Lyre is that because of the closed tip opening, you can use harder reeds, which some people find helps with upper register response. Here's another short excerpt from Rebecca to give you an idea of what the M13 Lyre can sound like. So again, this has been the M13 Lyre. If you like closed mouthpieces and are looking for a warm, centered sound, the M13 Lyre could be a great choice for you. So while the 5RV Lyre and M13 Lyre are great choices for beginners, if you've been playing for a few years and find yourself playing in a wide variety of situations like marching band, jazz band, pit orchestras, another mouthpiece you should consider is the B45. Bernard Van Doren crafted the first B45 in 1967, and it's been a favorite ever since. What players really love about the B45 is its flexibility and projection, in large part due to its much larger tip opening. That's why this mouthpiece works so well in a variety of situations. Here's a short excerpt from Rebecca to give you an idea of what the B45 sounds like. So once again, we're talking about the B45. If you find yourself playing in a wide variety of ensembles, the B45 could be the mouthpiece for you. Just to recap, we've discussed the 5RV Lyre, the M13 Lyre, and the B45. All good choices for beginning and intermediate clarinet players. Now I'd like to move on to some mouthpieces that could be better suited for advanced clarinetists. The first mouthpiece I'd like to discuss for advanced and professional clarinet players is the M15. The M15 can be a great choice for players that prefer a small tip opening. With its closed tip and long facing, the M15 is known for its brilliant sound and incredibly quick response and articulation. Here's a short example to show you what the M15 can sound like. Once again, we've been discussing the Van Doren M15 for B-flat clarinet. 
a great choice for the advancing clarinetist that's looking for a colorful sound and immediate response. For players looking for a more medium tip opening type mouthpiece, one of our most popular choices is the M30. With its medium tip opening and long facing, the M30 is known for a round, warm, and extremely flexible sound, making it a great mouthpiece for a variety of situations. So whether you consider yourself a concert clarinetist, a jazz player, or even a doubler, the M30 can be a great choice. Here's a short example to show you what an M30 sounds like. So again, if you're a clarinetist looking for something more in the medium tip opening range that offers you the flexibility to play in a wide variety of styles, the M30 can be a great choice. And last but certainly not least, we have the Black Diamond Ebonite BD5. Since its release a couple years ago, the BD5 has quickly become the new standard in professional clarinet mouthpieces. Featuring a completely new design with a medium tip opening and facing, what professional players love about the BD5 is its depth and darkness of sound along with its smooth and polished clarion register. Here's a quick example to show you what a BD5 sounds like. Again, we've been talking about the Black Diamond Ebonite BD5 for B-flat clarinet. If you've been playing on custom mouthpieces or you're just looking for something a little bit darker, a little bit richer, the BD5 could be the mouthpiece for you. Just to recap our recommendations for advanced clarinetists, we talked about the M15, the M30, and the BD5. All wonderful choices for clarinet players looking to take their sound to the next level. Finding your own sound is extremely personal and everybody's looking for different things based on their experience level or personal preference. Van Doren takes great pride in making a wide variety of mouthpieces so that you have plenty to choose from. While Van Doren makes many models beyond what we just discussed in this video, I hope that my recommendations have helped you to find which mouthpiece might be the best fit for you.